For today's Western Horsemanship class, I preferred 1432, beginning with the most effective rider with the greatest pattern precision in 4 and ending with the most penalized in 2. In my opening pair of 1 over 4, I started with the rider who appeared more natural in her seat and rode with a balanced and functional position throughout the pattern and rail work. She was more relaxed in her hands with a straight line from elbow to bit, which allowed for a more seamless communication with the bay. Additionally, she had the promptest lope to stop execution in the class. I do appreciate that 2 was straighter when exiting her right jog corner. In a middle decision of 4 over 3, I found 4 to carry a stronger leg with a deeper heel. This allowed her to connect more subtly with her mount and allowed for more prompt transitions into the lope during the pattern and on the rail. When viewing her from the profile, she was straighter through her shoulder, hip, and heel. I grant the 3 was quieter through her hands during the extended jog square. In my concluding pair of 3 over 2, 3 retains an advantage in her pattern execution. This rider completed the pattern as written and demonstrated both leads when called for. I appreciate her prompt execution of these lope departures, especially during the rail work. I do realize that 2 exhibited greater differentiation from the jog to the extended jog. However, she was the most penalized rider of the class. During her pattern, she was late when picking up her right lead, and when asked to pick up the left lead, she picked up the incorrect lead and broke gait, subsequently failing to ever display the left lead. This resulted in a disqualification and thus, must place last. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our other livestock and horse judging videos at the Alabama Cooperative Extension YouTube channel.